Pickering Panthers with a chance to claim the Bachlin Cup on home ice in Game 6. But in order to do that, they'll need to beat a very good Toronto Junior Canadiens team for a fourth time in a row. No easy task. Yes. Junior Canadians with an early power play. And Dustin Hutton digs the puck out and sends cross ice for Jake Partridge. Goal with two seconds left in the kill. The Panthers hit for a second shorthanded goal in this series. Hutton involved with both. Partridge with a shorty and a power play goal in the series. Toronto right back though. A minute and a half later, Carter Real to Eric Vitale and he snaps a shot past Zach Roy to level this game up. Pickering gets back on top. Ryan Johnston hits a shot and it's going to smack a stick and change flight path just enough to fool Selby Warren. Johnston has been tremendous since joining the Panthers at the end of the season. That's his third of these playoffs. And Pickering has another goal in the first period in them. Take it away, Thomas West. Peropolis will field it around center ice. Alexander Pappas Peropolis walks in with space. Scores! Alexander Pappas Peropolis, are you kidding me? Number 77's on fire. He's got his third of this OJHL Finals. Thomas West on Hockey TV sounding great as always. Move ahead to the second period. Teams have traded goals. It's 4-2. The Panthers turn the puck over. Ben Loretto on the move, but Brendan Tomlinson tracks him down and plays havoc with the shot. Zach Roy stabs the pad forward to keep it a two-goal lead. Johnston looking for a second of the night, but Warren keeps his team alive with that save. Then again with an outstretched toe to stop Miles Perry. Now Toronto started the third down a pair. They will get a pair. This is the second of the night for Vitali, who pounces on a rebound. And this game is tied up at four apiece. So we will see overtime. Very early in the first overtime, Eli Pilasov for the win. But no, Selby Warren with a flailing stack pad save that denies the trophy celebration for the Panthers. Ian Martin now had a chance to end it all, but it's off the crossbar and stays out. So we head to a second overtime for a second game in a row. Five minutes in from the face-off win, Liam Fedak finds the back of the nets. The Toronto Junior Canadians win the game by a score of 5-4, to four, and as many predicted, yeah, we have a seventh and deciding game in this championship series.